evil man, evil man, my son is ruined. This shall be the price. You shall not know his father. I curse you, I curse you. I curse you, I curse you. Thanks, Roy. What are you doing there? I told you to trim the hedge, not dig out the bulbs. What have you been doing all this time? If you don't buck your ideas up, we won't be able to keep you much longer. But the missus said... Never mind what the missus said. Get on with the pruning. Oh. Hello, darling. How was court? Oh, that damn gardener of yours. He's only gone and dug up all the bowls we planted in the garden. I'm fed up with him. He'll have to go. Oh, don't go on about young Roy. He does his best. He's so helpful with other things. Tell me about court. Oh, yes, the court. It was that young layabout that they took on at the club. Well, you know, the one that Peter hired to help Josh behind the bar. Comes from that traveller's camp over Hertzley Way. Shifty young devil. First of all, it was the spirits. And then after a while, some of the club trophies went missing. And then, to cap it all, they found a silver cup in his rucksack. Oh, naturally, I called Dennis and had him arrested. Swore blindly that he hadn't taken it, of course. Claimed it had been planted. <sighs> I was asked to give evidence as the club treasurer. Said that I never really trusted him and that uh, about 80 pounds worth of gear had gone missing. No cash, just club and members' equipment. All gone. Mm. Who was the magistrate? Oh uh, yeah, that was old Arthur Bennington. Sent him down for six months. <laughs> Nasty business. The kid's mother was there. Wicked old vixen. Screeched at me. She even came round to the garden gate just now, shouting and screaming that her son was ruined, pointing her finger and cursing, saying that my son, our son, was going to be born without a father because of what I did. What rubbish. Wicked old witch. I know that family. They're not just travellers, they're real Romanies. They've got quite a reputation. Well, let's hope it's for thieving and not for fortune-telling or curses. Won't do him much good in clink now, will it? Good God! Look what the gardener's doing now. I'm going to have to sort him out once and for all. No, no. I don't want any more trouble just now. I'll speak to him and I'll deal with him in the morning. Rosie, I can't come up to much more harm. Anyway, I'm off for a shower. I'm so tired and I'm aching all over. When's his noose going to come? I'm so sick of waiting. I don't know why you didn't ask for home help. At least it would have eased your housework. Those insurances. I hope you're well insured for when he comes. What do you mean? You know, that woman this afternoon who said that you would die before your son was born and it's... Oh, oh God! I think we're going to need the midwife. Now. What, now? <sighs> yes, now. Get me a towel, a big one, and a bowl. Quickly! <sighs> oh, what a lovely morning. It took all night. But now you have a beautiful baby boy. What? What? 
Mother and baby both doing fine. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Why don't you pop up there and see him? Oh, what a night. And Lou's okay? And he's well? Everything's absolutely splendid. But she's very, very tired. But waiting to see you. Then I'm here. We're all here. It's over.